Hi, today we want to compare a 1970s Gibson T-top humbucker to a uh, Burst Bucker 2, the usual one that I've had in my 2008 Gibson Les Paul R9. Uh, so we're going to play it in, in that guitar. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to in, in a couple of seconds, I'm going to show you the, the rig we're going to use here. Uh, now, at least here in Sweden, these are T-tops from the 1970s are between three, four, maybe even five times more expensive uh, than at least uh, uh, used burst bucker. Uh, so, so they have they have to be a bit better if it's if it's going to be uh, worth the money to upgrade. Uh, I've been using uh, this uh, burst bucker too, uh, along with an uh, Seymour Duncan All Nico Two Pro for a long time now, and I've been happy with those. But today we're going to compare it to. Uh, because I've loved the T-tops in other guitars. So, so, so I, I really hope it's going to sound a lot better here. All right. I'm going to give you my detailed comments in, in, the, uh, in the chat. Uh, and I really want to hear what you think. Um, because I, I, my taste goes back and forth. So, so you know, if I, if, if, I, if, I, uh, if I draw any conclusions now and watch the video in a week, I'm, I'm just going to be ashamed of what I'm saying. So, so uh, let's discuss it in the comments instead. All right, let's go. All right, here's the recording setup. It's an AKG C414PXL2. And uh, that's the room mic. I don't know how much I'm going to use that. Set to Omni. And there's two close mics at this 1960 B cap from 71. It's one new SM57 and one 1960s 545. Uh, I'm using the... Uh, uh, Marshall Studio Vintage, only first channel, volume at two, uh, and minus all R9, and now it's the T-top in it. And that goes through uh, API 312 preamps and uh, Studio Connect 48, and then uh, the MacBook Pro with Cubase. All right, let's compare the mics. <laughs> 